All right, Tube, this is my first video I'm doing for my grocery shopping, so I'm going to just get right into it. Um, <clears throat> it's part of my snacks right here, dry roasted peanuts, as you can see, unsalted. <clears throat> got some pouches of tuna, zesty lemon pepper, that's real good. I got these from Aldi, by the way, sweet and spicy, that one pretty good, too big bag of jasmine rice, oatmeal, Let's see what we got, we got some kale, we usually steam this, this is uh, one of the vegetables we usually eat or um, I either put it in a smoothie or something, and speaking of smoothies, this is my lactose free milk, can't really do the whole milk thing, don't really agree with my stomach. Some Brussels sprouts from my vegetables, broccoli. Got these rice cakes. A lot of people ask about the uh, the rice cakes. Um, oh, watch where you're going, woman. Hi. <laughs> Got the rice cakes for my snack. I usually eat them either um, pre-workout or before I um, I start my shift at the kickboxing gym. And you know I love my blueberries. Mix them in with my oatmeal or either my oatmeal bake. Gotta have you some lean protein, so you know I got the boneless, skinless chicken breast. And I usually season it with, let's see if I can find it in my carousel. That is liquid aminos. Best seasoning money can buy. You know, I mean, if you live in that bodybuilding lifestyle, you gotta have eggs. This is what I put on my rice cakes, almond butter. A lot of times I either go to GNC or vitamin shop and try to find me a high protein spread, but <clears throat> right now I'm kind of tight this month. So, got me some of this almond butter from Aldi. Usually alternate between jasmine rice and brown rice. Got this from Aldi also. Got some canned vegetables. Now, the canned vegetables I know not as healthy as most of the other vegetables, so we we get these just for taste. I mean, these are just you know not the best thing you want to eat, but they taste better than you know the frozen vegetables here. But I mean, at the end of the day, we still getting them green vegetables in. All right. Also got me some canned chicken once again you know stuff in the can not as healthy as the fresh stuff but usually when I come home from um, one of my shifts at nine round um, if the um, if the wife don't feel like cooking or you know she hadn't made nothing or you know was just real busy I just pop open one of these and eat it you know still high in protein as you can see 13 grams of serving I don't know if I can you can catch that, 13 grams of serving. I mean, even for the whole can, still not real bad. It's still about uh, what we got here. Let's see, it's 12.5 ounces. Serving size is two ounces, so you do your own math on that. Oh, what else we got here? Oh yeah. I ain't afraid to be human, so I got me some of these oatmeal squares. Usually when I'm having a sweet tooth or once again, you know, we don't feel like cooking or, you know, we just weather bad, we don't feel like leaving the house. I always got these on hand. Brand flakes, just like Wheaties, bet each Wheaties. Got some Fruit Loops once again. You know, we got two sweet tooths in the house. Yeah. <laughs> sweet tooths. Is that even a word? Oh, well, ain't nobody worried about that. Mm, and we got some raisin bran. With extra raisins. I can't stand these things. This for, you know, this for the, the old lady. But, hey, you know, happy wife, happy life. I mean, you know, WTF. What you gonna do, man? Oh, boy. And I... 
think that just about covers it. Oh, can't forget about this. I got that Cellucor whey protein, 26 servings. 25 grams of protein. Don't know if y'all can see that, but there it is. Uh, there we go. 25 grams of protein. I'm gonna be honest with you. After I'm done with this one, I won't get this one no more because it kind of leave like a a weird aftertaste. I don't. I'm I'm not with this one. I think I'm gonna either go back to Matrix or either Oh Yeah or I might just try something new. But this right here, I think the you know the container just look pretty cool and. That's about it. That's how you. That's how these people make their money. And of course, we got in the fridge there here. Got some liquid egg whites. We usually use this for. Um, I either make omelets with these or I make a. The wife, excuse me. She usually makes a oatmeal bacon. She usually uses that. Some milk, blueberries, and of course oatmeal. And I got me a big old jug of water right there. I usually go through one of them each day. And I got bottled water here in my pantry that I take to work with me because I work inside of a place that don't allow big jugs of water. And I got some more water right here. I keep water. My wife always get on me about all the water I buy, but I mean, you know, hey, what you gonna do? This is my supplement counter right here. I got a bunch of stuff up here I really don't use. I've been trying to figure out who I'm gonna give it away to, but got a bunch of stuff up here I don't use. And if you live in that life, you know, you already know about the hundreds of shaker bottles. So, <laughs> that's pretty much it. This how I eat, this how I live. You know, if you're on a budget, you can always get all this stuff from all the Walmart. It's only like, maybe like $150 every two weeks, every every month even, you know. This depends on how you eat, what your lifestyle is, but you can still live the lifestyle, be in shape and, and be healthier um, and shop on a budget. So it's not as expensive as everybody make it out to be, so. Uh oh, I've been hacked. Am I being hacked? Hello. I'm being hacked. I'm being hacked by being hacked by Bay is what they call it. Hacked Bay. by Bay. Yeah, I can't stand that word, but I just had to say it, you know. But anyway, all right. I appreciate y'all checking us out. Please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think about the grocery list, and I'm willing to answer any questions that you may have. Good night. Have a great